Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, for the third time, fourth, fourth time yeah, on no. the Super Mega really? Cast. Fourth? fourth, yep. Really? Nothing but Jason. Hey, hi everyone. <laughs> Good to see you. What's up, guys? Oh, we got Jerry Jason. here. <laughs> we, uh, it's, it's uh, you know, you, you know him. It's Justin. Yeah. Ed- it's editor me. Justin slash nothing but lag slash <coughs> Drake is your other... Nothing uh, but Drake. Nothing but Drake. Yeah, that's a uh, that's the little mixtape you made me. <laughs> nothing but nothing synonyms. But Drake. Nothing but swag. More like there's a, there's a lot of things you could change. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, it there's some derogatory ones too. Yeah. I like, heard I heard a like lot what? of that when I was younger. Mm. <laughs> well, thank you for coming on, Justin. Uh, had a good time, and I guess uh, we'll see you uh, in the next episode, everybody. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> of course. It. But, do, 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 do. Justin's been here for about uh, since s- Sunday night. Today's Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. So not, so, so not even a week. I'm settled in now. Yeah. You, you, you better start making like two week trips in the future. Justin, you better start August. making. A, 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 you, you should come out here for a month. Just li- live here. I don't for know. A you month. should just live Test here. Test it out. Why not just live here, Justin? Maybe I will. Dun, dun, dun. Huh. Justin, is your cold little shack in North Dakota really that fun? It's nice. I have a little fire. Oh, yeah, wolf. but the bison are dying out. You can't hunt them. <laughs> there's big, there's big fires out here. Yeah. Too. Once the last bison is hunted, I'll like make the my last leaf falls, like in yeah. Bugs Life. Once the last bison dies of starvation, that's when I move to L.A. <laughs> All right, I, Justin I'll blows I'll the last bison's head off with his with his twelve gauge. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, Justin, we 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 would love for you to. It'd be so sick if he lived out here because he can come to the office with us every day I and know. work. Yeah, right. Yeah, and then and I could I could edit my little closet. <laughs> Yeah, you you probably get so much done because like we all come in at noon and then just yep. you know what I'm saying. It'll be just like what we used to do: go to the game room's office, just sit down and edit. Psych. We didn't do shit. Then go grab a few brews afterwards. Hell yeah, some cold ones. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe some uh, Trejo's donuts if we're lucky. Oh, I forgot about that shit. Trejo's donuts. Trejo's tacos is pretty good. I Danny haven't Trejo's. had Trejo's tacos. Does he just have a bunch of shit. Yeah, where he just sells food. He just licensed a bunch of That's shit. That's the dream. It's Treo's Tacos is really good. I got it on Uber Eats once. It's it was actually like fantastic. Is he ever there? Like, Probably. Hey. I bet. Have you, did you ever see the picture of, like this dude in line to get donuts in L.A. and it's just like he just like turns around. And he's like, holy fuck! And it's just Dave Batista on his phone, <laughs> <laughs> just like looking at memes on his phone. Dude, Dave Batista, like I know he wants because he's he's been in the Gears of War game. But if there's anyone to play like Marcus Phoenix or just anybody in a gear like even marcus a new character to come on dude respect respect Mar- marcus he, phoenix and matt doesn't play gears of war i'm guessing you have to respect uh, he's the he's the protagonist he's, he's the he's main character big bald with the, big with bald man fartest penis <laughs> big muscles he has hair he has a flavor is he, is he the one he who has the little son <laughs> huh he has the little son the little son the little son and god of war no that's that's kratos you're thinking, Kratom? Of, you're, thinking you're thinking of God of War. No, this is Gears of War. He's oh, of John Marston. This we're thinking of the Cogs. Gotcha. The 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 what, Just what does another it stand cog for? in the machine. What does it stand for? Collision of armed gears. No, that Col- is really something like that. Cogs. I'm gonna look it up. You cog. fucking cog. What is cog? That's a good insult. For? Coalition of. Well, that's what, it's coalition because that's why the new studio is called Coalition. You fucking cog, Justin. Dude, cog's a good fuck word. Fuck off, man. <gasps> uh, coalition of ordered governments. Whatever. Ooh. Coalition of gears? Originally a socialist governmental faction theorized by Alex. I love because like, after, after that game came out, after that game came out, he's like, yeah, it's just a fucking like allegory for Iraq. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, they make all the, uh, the it's about, uh, you remember when the uh, Iraqis just burrowed from underneath their homes underneath the earth? Yeah. And started attacking the poor people in the Middle East? Yes. Yeah. That was crazy, dude. <laughs> I know. They just, just like, came Everything started out. rumbling and then. <laughs> <laughs> they, they use their, they, they, they bite through the dirt like in, like the dwarves in Artemis Fowl. Well, thank they God. their jaws. Thank God we sent the G Fowl. unit what in. is that? I've Artemis Fowl? Never it's a book. You know Artemis Fowl. Yeah. Th- well, okay. thank God. Dude, they it's a book the about an him. asshole genius, like a young kid who's an asshole and a genius. Oh, I, I don't. He's I like don't, a villain. I don't read. I'm, I'm too busy walking around outside. Oh, he's, he's too busy okay, getting dude, heads. Birds. Whatever, dude. Yeah. Well, we we house we house a bird. We ha- we house a, a generation right now. Mm-hmm. Well, not right now. They're gone. Then they won't be back for a little less than a year now. They've left the. Uh, I'll be back in April, hopefully, if one of them is a female. Yeah. Wanda and her little babies. 
I think the baby, it was one of the babies this year. And then next year, it'll probably be another one of the babies from this year. It's beautiful. They're cute birds, man. It'll be Wanda the third. Wanda the third, man. <laughs> Wanda. <laughs> Wanda the fifth. Wanda Cosmos. three. <laughs> queen Wanda. Queen. Oh, man. She is a queen, man. <laughs> Sykes? She looks so stupid. Wanda Sykes is a queen. Are you talking about Wanda Sykes? Looks stupid. Wanda Sykes. Yeah. She was in she Evan like Almighty. Fucking... And she was in Over the Hedge. She was the skunk from Over the Hedge. Was fuck, she? You guys fuck with Over the Hedge, don't you? I right. love Over the Hedge. I fucking love See, Over the Hedge. See, y'all can. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Over the Hedge. Why? I watch it. It's it's a like the it's, soundtrack's great. It's dude. not. Ben it's Folds. not a bad. It's not. Rockin it's not a life of pets. You know. Ah, uh, come on, Life of Do you Pets. You like bro? Life of Pets? Louis C.K. Oh, are no, you kidding me? No, I thought me? you were saying Life of Pets was better. I was about to no, 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 slap no. the shit out no. you. Like I'm saying, it's not a. It's not like it's not bad like a Life of Pets or like a like a nut job. It's fine. It's a mid 2000s nut job family animated movie. Hey, the what nut if, job. I saw that shit in theaters. They dance to Gangnam Style in it, don't they? Yeah, no. There's a video of Psy promoting the nut job. He's seen it. He's like, go see the nut job. Very funny. And it's like, it's, he's just it's so on It's into. the same clip from the trailer each time. Yeah. <laughs> I need my nuts. The very <laughs> Gotta good. have watch, my nuts. I, I, there's ha there has to be a line in the movie where it's like, watch your nuts. Yeah, oh, it probably you, is. you know. How many it. nuts puns do you think are in those movies? Well, ask Justin. He saw it in fucking theaters for his I birthday party. I don't fucking party. remember. <laughs> this was like nine years ago. Did you see the ago? nut job too? Justin, it did not come out nine years ago. You went with your friends for your Are we talking about over the hedge or nut job right now? Nut job. Okay, nut job didn't the come out. The nut job. Nine years ago? Did it really come no, out? No, that was like 2013. No. Yeah. Ha Dude, they had Gangnam Style in okay, it. Okay, yeah, maybe. I can see Gangnam Style. Nut Job came out in 2014. Okay. Yeah, you got it. So seven years. Oh, so that was the year I first talked about. Wait, Ryan is it on Geek. Netflix? The Nut Job. Dude, um, Over the Hedge, though, I, I that was my favorite anime it's, movie for a while. It's a fucking awesome movie. I had a sleepover at my friend's house. <laughs> you just watching the Nut Job trailer? I had a sleepover at my friend's house, and we had portable DVD players that were synced up, so we both could watch it on our each one at the same time. Oh, it was yeah. awesome. Like Steven Lang's in it. I don't know who that is. I want to see the like end. Ryan's just watching the nut job trailer. Are you no, that's I'm the whole watching movie. Nut job. How does it end? You're actually just watching the movie. Yeah, I'm watching the end. There's only eight minutes left in it. Dude. This is nuts. Oh hey. no way! Hey. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah! It's all of them dancing the Gangnam Style Dude, you, while the credits roll. You skipped to the perfect part of the Gangnam Style. <laughs> Dude, the, when Psy promoted the nut job, uh, that fucking video. Let me just. When Super Mega ends, it needs to end with like a dance party video, like a, like a Bollywood, uh, yeah, open mega style. But the only clip I could find is like in Polish, and it's. I am nut. That's what he said. He goes, I am nut. The like, nut job. <laughs> the nut job. I mean, he's like very funny. Oh my god. Did you say, oh my god. Someone's there. Yeah, you got it. The thing is, Sai actually has some bangers. Like from before. The one Gangnam where he says style. he wants to kill all Yankees, Justin. Is that a, has, has he Did he make that? one about candy or something? He got like that? he got in a lot of trouble because people got mad because he has some like anti-American lines, and you can't say shit about America. I remember the reasoning behind that was because like something happened, like some like military dudes in South Korea like ran over like a, a South Korean girl or something back in the day, and, yeah, uh, and everyone was super pissed about it for good reason. Obama um, had Sai come perform Gangnam Style at the White House. I'm not making that up. That really happened. No, and, and a lot of people got really mad because Psy has like anti-American lyrics. Uh, so Dude, they, Obama just wanted to have a good time. Yeah, man. He knew yeah. how to party. Kill Obama a few innocent civilians party. along the way. But Gar they, they, weren't, they weren't American civilians. So yeah, it's so fine. it's fine. Yeah, it's completely. Oh, but well, one, actually, one of them was. Oops. Oops. Well, <laughs> hey, man. You can't make an omelet without cracking a few eggs. How's he supposed to know, you know? You know? He didn't even ask them individually. What's an American citizen doing outside of the United States? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you gotta keep all your sheep in the pen. <laughs> you know, you uh, can't make an omelet without cracking a few eggs. Love your pants, man. Opa Gangnam style. It's actually a bathing suit. They're a type of pants, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, they're pants. Right? Shorts. They're, pants, they're in the category of, well, I guess pants are long, right? I guess. Yeah, so pants, shorts. But, well, like... Shirts, you know, sweatshirt, sweater, like, you know, I think, I don't know. It's a category, I think. Well, what's the general category of just leg stuff? Is leg it pants? Wear. Leg uh, wear. Bottoms? Bottom. Oh, bottoms. Justin, yeah. we're not Tops, talking about you. Bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. That was funny, dude. <laughs> How dare you? 
Do you guys dude. take your normal pills today? You asked me that earlier. Did you take him? No. I threw mine I, away. I took I I took my I took my I uh, Ryan McGee milk pills. <laughs> Sometimes I don't have enough time to drink a, to drink you know my morning three cups Did of milk. Did you throw away your normal pills? Huh? Did you throw away your? No, normal he didn't pills? throw away his normal pills. I made unless you threw them away when I left. I don't to get out in the car. Please stop. I the have, doctor says if you don't take your normal pills, you're going to be yeah, man. Dude, as long as I have my fucking milk pills, I'm I good. went to the doctor. It's and he, the equivalent of three cups of milk with each pill. I went to the oncologist and and he had to get Whatever, to dude. see it for a cancer check and he just gave me a little slip that said you are not normal. I mean he gave me normal pills, but I threw them in the fucking trash can while I was drenched in sweat. And you got on Discord with your buddies. Oh, is this dream? Yeah. He takes the normal pills, bro, but he throws them away. Man, how come every fucking lame, stupid, white, lanky ass YouTuber has to start to do music? Can you put a Put a, put a vine. Why are you boom. looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta put a vine boom at the end of that when he's done. Like, the <laughs> yeah, dude, I didn't throw away my normal matter. pills. Uh, aesthetic doesn't matter in terms of making music. You know, I'm just joking, everyone. I don't, I don't want to get canceled. For <laughs> uh, well, the dream stands. You gotta be careful. No, it's, do it's, I? Yes, it's coming someday. Is it really? There. If I, if I, if I were to like jokingly bully Dream, would people get upset? Dude, dude, yes, yeah, yes. I just want to say that everyone in this room fucking loves Dream. And if he wants to give us a million dollars, I, I would that accept it. That would be it. cool. Dream's yeah. a cheater. Hey! Hey! hey stop! Stop! Hey! Stop! Stop! I'm sorry. <sighs> I, I, will you forgive me? We're saying Dream Dude, was he's a gonna send, he's gonna he's gonna tweet about you and send his fans after now you. Now he's gonna take the million dollars. What he's gonna do? Dream is he, doesn't even know we exist. We're he's not gonna on his respond radar. to one you of never your. Never know. We're not on Dream's radar. He probably he's gonna respond to one of your tweets, getting mad at you, and then. All of his fans will go after you and tell you to kill yourself, and they'll be like, "Hey, I didn't send them after you. I mean, they just—I uh, just, well, don't, I don't support that." If he does that type of shit, emoji, then fuck Dream. Like the, I don't know. The, like, the does he do that type of emoji? shit? Is he famous for just getting his, his fans to attack people? Basically, and then saying like, "Oh, I didn't. You know, I don't. I don't condone that. Don't do that, guys." But like, he knows what he's doing. Dude, he works. His fan base is. He just. Do you, have, do you have an example, or are you just throwing shade? Oh, I, I mean, I have an example from Twitter today. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, no people. He, what? People really don't like him for for that because uh, his fan base is so rabid, and they'll just go at, like if anyone like critiques Dream, they will like harass Docs, tell them to S kill themselves. Same type of fan base as the One Direction fan base was. Yeah, like, it's one of those like. There's always a sect of that in any fan for Nicki Minaj there. bars. Yeah. Like, I mean, even with ours, you know, there are people, like, sometimes oh, they'll yeah. post to the subreddit where they'll, so they'll the like, have something to say, doing? which is fine. You can speak negative, but then, like, someone will, like, they'll be downvoted to oblivion and people are like, shut the fuck up, which is kind of hilarious, but. <laughs> I don't like Ryan's shirt today. 300 downvotes. So are the, oh, well, we got a recent um, Apple podcast review saying we were, uh, was it homophobes or something like that? Did we? I think so. Yeah, he, someone, someone was on very the, upset. On the subreddit right before I left, I saw it. Just to make it clear, At, I respect and love the gays. No, I saw that. It, they said homophones. Yeah, homophones. And, then, and then the reviewer directly below it is just haha, super epic, mega funny. <laughs> well, what what I also like was oh yeah, yeah, and that in that review they're like they do nothing more than say BLM is cool, and I'm like we actually did a fundraising live stream last year, but that doesn't matter. So the black community owes us one. They do, dude. The black community hey, owes we did us them quite a bit. Dude, we did them a solid with that one. I uh, we we helped. We ended racism with that one. Justin, why are you looking at us like that? You know what? Why we are you did. covering your mouth as if we're saying things that are going to get us in trouble? I'm just sitting like this. dude. You're covering your mouth. You got to speak into the microphone. Justin, fist why are you sign language those bad fist words fist away, at me? Fist away, fist away. No, no, no. You're too you fist fist away. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about the mic. Hello, Justin. Stop. Don't get that close to it. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, put your press your lips up against that mic. Give it a little kiss. See, I kissed it first. The kiss sounded the first See, kiss sounded. The is second my one is mine. Here's another one. Dude, Dude twice. I'm trying to kiss. One more. You're not hey. gonna let me do it. Ryan. Just join in. Come Chill. On. Stop Sorry. with the ASMR I'm, shit. It's Sorry. my turn. Whoa. Kiss it. Here we go. I just got Justin to kiss that your microphone three times. I didn't oh actually, yeah, because I fart on that mic all the time. Kiss the phone. He puts that shit almost up his ass. I'm I'm very aware of what Ryan does with his microphones. <laughs> you don't listen to the podcast though, not always. No, you don't. listen I literally to just listened to one of them right before I left. <gasps> so does Trevor. Trevor was like, "Oh yeah, when I was moving in, I put on who I watched Trevor." Yeah, I just, from some some weird kid that likes us. Have I met him? Mm, probably, but he's very forgettable. 
Okay. <laughs> so that explains the server. No, Trevor uh is is he the 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 loud kid that came screaming uh to film that one video with no, us? No, no, no. That that was that was three mad. Trevor Trevor was the kid that ruined Epic SMP. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Because he didn't do any work. I thought his for name him. was Travis. Nope. That's a different person. Not Travis. Is no, Travis but, someone else? Uh, Travis Scott. Yeah. I got oh fuck. I gotta remember. We're getting dinner with him uh, tomorrow, Justin. Travis Scott? Yeah. Oh. He doesn't I, even remember? Maybe I well, I, maybe I, I, I mean I can take Matt as my No, no, plus no. One, I was just but, gonna say I made plans with Kanye. I was gonna surprise you. Fuck. Why well, why'd you ruin it like that? You could have figured some way to still do it. You could have brought Kanye Kanye, with you, but now you can't. No, you know how Kanye is. He wants to go to fucking McDonald's. Well, Drake and Future are coming over on Saturday night for some wine. And then Macklemore's coming on for the next podcast, right? Yes. Okay. (laughs) Um (laughs) But yeah, Trevor, uh Trevor was like, Yeah, I listened to four episodes the other day while I was packing my place up, and I was like, What? And and Jacob listens too. Jacob? Why are you listening to Super From Uncanny? Super MAGA cast. Oh, I think I've seen Travis on Unc- uh, Trevor on Uncanny before too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's the real ugly one. <laughs> Come on, Jesus! I'm just kidding, Trevor. Ow! Ow! Trevor is one of the most handsome men I think I've ever met. <sighs> it did the fuck out of the sun, dude. How are we supposed to hang that up now? <laughs> hold up, this. Watch, hold the, up. The sign. No, no. I'll fix how it. are we supposed to hang I'll it up? Fix it. No, you just made it worse. No. It actually looks like it's almost better. Oh yeah, actually. See. What does it say, Justin? Read, read this big metal sign out loud. The this sign I do not endorse what's on this sign. But that's not says, what the sign that's says. That's not what it says. It says notice this place is politically incorrect. We say Merry Christmas, God bless America. We salute our flag and give thanks to our troops. If this offends you, leave in God we trust. In God we trust. Amen. So you don't endorse trusting God? I didn't know what the fuck. You the don't sign endorse was supporting say. the troops, Justin? Dude, fuck off, man. He just said he said I don't endorse this, and then he said we support the I can't, troops. I can't deal with you this, don't support. This, I can't. I can't flag. keep up with all the witty banter. And you don't support saying Merry Christmas. <laughs> Justin, that is rude. That You're is rude. Would fuck you do off. that? Would you? What you what you did is, is the equivalent of bringing your muddy shoes in the house and wiping them along the carpet. You literally just dented the fuck out of it. It's my property. I can do with my property what I want. Yeah, that's true. That's what? Why I, that's why I do those things to you at night, Justin. Oh, okay, that explains. <laughs> oh, those things are those are funny, man. The videos you've sent me of that, <sighs> that is funny. You think they're funny too, right? They're pretty funny. You're a little. It, funny. It, it's funny. It, yeah. It's funny. You made them edit it in with like the cartoon a, sound effects too. In like a cosmic sort of way, it's funny. As long as you let me go home next Wednesday, then it's hilarious. Dude, I'll let you go home. I'll, la- I'll, I'll allow you to go home. My <laughs> friend, fuck off, dude. <laughs> You know, we could take his ID and break it so he can't go to the airport. <gasps> if, we, if we hit his ID, how is he going to fly home? Wait, did, you, did you bring a passport? I'm not telling you guys because you're going to find it and burn Why would it you bring something? a passport if you're just flying from North Dakota to California? I, I brought my passport to South Carolina. Really? Yeah. Because I, well, to get, I wasn't get sure if California was yeah. doing the real ID <laughs> shit yet. Yeah. Which they're not. Mm. I mean, they accept it, but it's Dude, not mandatory. Yet. I you went know and got that, my right, license. Justin? Yeah. Yeah. I went and got my license. And I was going to get the real ID. I just didn't have one tax form, so they gave me a regular one. So now I have to go back and do a whole fucking another day to the DMV, DMV just to get a real ID. When I was doing the bike shit, I would stand out in line in, like, the sun for four hours. It sucked. Yeah, California do be kind of stupid with a lot of their laws. But, hey, you and I just got two beautiful new vehicles. The Hummers? <laughs> I, was, I was talking about our electric vehicles. Oh, the electric Hummers, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. Um, yeah, uh, Ryan, you go first. Okay. I, I finally did it. Do you want to add a drum roll in post? Sure. Are you going to? It's right here. Promise? It's going right now. And I got a one wheel. Woo! Five years Finally! In yeah, I was shredding out there earlier. I saw you, man. Yeah? Dude, it's just like, for literally for like five years, Ryan's like, oh man, should I get a one wheel? Like, yeah, dude. Yep. Every single yep. time I've yep. said yes, too. It's, it's never been like, nah, you shouldn't. Have like, you seen the look? Well, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to ride one. I'd, I'd be like, I'm a big. I remember dude. the first time I came out here, we went to Santa Monica Pier or something after we watched Endgame, and I think someone had a one wheel, and he said, "Oh, dude, I want one of those so bad. They're awesome." And that was two years ago now. I got the pint. So, it's been years. He's been yep. asking all of us, yep. like, "Should I get a one wheel?" And then we all say yes, and then like five months later, it's like, "Should I get a one wheel?" So, <laughs> so yet, yesterday, I, Ryan brought it up again. I said, "If you ever ask me this again, I'm gonna freak out." I told him, <laughs> I told him I was gonna beat him up if he didn't order it, and, and he then did. He got scared. I did, of my, and he got scared because my big muscles. And it was, uh, dude, they're huge. They're huge. I, I, it was delivered like that. Yeah. Ryan 
Ryan was riding it around in the back of the Super Megaplex today. Gold-plated, diamond-studded diamond rims. My place, too. Yeah, he had diamond-studded rims. Awesome, man. I got a solid gold helmet. Yeah, that, th oh, that thing's heavy. You probably want to get a better one, because gold is Gold's really light. malleable. Yeah. It's soft. Mm. Looks uh, cool. Maybe one out of like a meteorite, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. The skin of a meteorite. How skin? fucking sick would it be? <laughs> the just, skin? Get, just getting something made out of a meteorite sounds so fucking like cool. Well, technically, Justin, everything was a space rock at some point. So any statue you could say was a meteorite. <laughs> Whoa. Do you mind? Yeah, go, that's fine. I like your vans, Ryan. Thanks. It's nice to see you. So they're brand new. We just you don't want to talk about uh, your vehicle? Oh, yeah. I got, uh, so, you know, Ryan has his motorcycle. Carson has a, a little motorcycle. Everyone's talking about motorcycles. They, I, thanks for not calling mine little. Oh, <laughs> Carson's is little. It's like a clown bike, but yours is a fucking big hog. You can only ride it if you have big muscles. Oh, yeah. But I, hence why I can't ride it. <laughs> but uh, I got an electric bike uh, I ordered a couple months back called an Onyx. And uh, cause I saw a guy near my house riding on one. I was like, that's a slick little, little bike. And I looked Someone, it up. One of your neighbors was questioning me about it when I was given a little test spin. I said, sir, uh, why what do you is have that? that crowbar? How fast does it go? How long does it stay alive? That's the guy with the What's McLaren. the range? Yeah. <sighs> that's, that's my neighbor that has a McLaren. very nice sports car. Um, but McLaren the Onyx is, is really It's so cool. fun, dude. That Onyx, like. It's super fun. Again, we're not sponsored by either One Wheel or Onyx, but. No, I just, I wanted, I wanted a little. Since I moved, like, there's some stuff around my area that I, I've been walking to, and I like walking, like, to get coffee in the morning, but it's like, hey, you know, it might be nice, like, with the summer breeze, get on a little bike, and, it, and I was going to get a regular bike. picks bicycle. up speed, too, pretty well. Yeah, but this, this Onyx, it's just an electric bike. I just plug into the wall, and then I can, I can zip around my area, and uh, you can pedal it like a regular bike, too. We got to get one of those cords that they use for, like, jet skis on the back of boats, and I got to have my one wheel you on, on the back yeah. of the bike. Yeah, but I... Uh, no, wait, we'll have... We'll Asphalt ha surfing. <laughs> we'll have Justin in his Porsche pulling you on your bike, pulling me on my one wheel. Yeah. Oh, but then we could put the whole thing on my super yacht and then drive <laughs> it through the ocean. <laughs> if we just have to make sure we go fast so we don't sink. Oh, yeah. Well, that thing if, doesn't yeah, float. Yeah, if you drive fast enough, you don't sink. Yeah. Well, what you sucks about my, my super yacht is that I, I cheaped out on some of the features when I got it and I forgot to put buoyancy in it buoyancy oh it was one of the extra features you could add i didn't oh, do so it so you it need sinks. i think yeah. you you need that when you buy a boat but you well know. i i cheaped out you can just get someone to let just like get a, a bucket and just keep getting the, the water out of the bottom i could take you boys out on the on the lake in my super yacht maybe uh monday tuesday maybe justin if you want to be the bucket boy why don't we the fucking bucket boy get someone else for that shit well how about some ad reads summer's coming are you ready to unveil your beach bod matt um, well, I wasn't, Ryan, but recently, I shaved my massive stinky bush, and now I am. Nice. Well, that's a good thing, because today's episode is actually brought to you by, by Manscaped. <laughs> yeah, from the legends who introduced the greatest electric ball hair trimmer ever, Manscaped is now introducing the Ultra Smooth Package, a razor and formulation kit designed for the brave men out there who like to go to the skin when they trim their balls. Your new nickname is gonna be the Bald Eagle after using the Ultra Smooth Package. The balls, eagle, more like. You know what I'm nice. saying? And men, there's nothing worse than the ingrown hairs when you get down to the skin while shaving, especially when it's summer bod season. It's time to get ready for white boy summer by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code SUPERMEGA. I just love using it, dude. I, I can't stop. I'm addicted. You know, just having a wonderfully just just hairless package attracts all the men women he ryan actually does have a legitimate uh psychological and physical addiction to shaving his balls with the new manscaped uh lawnmower 4.0 and let me tell you about that the lawnmower 4.0 electric trimmer is just in time for post covid summer and your pubes don't stand a chance because the lawnmower trademark 4.0 is the greatest piece of glizzy grooming engineering the world has ever seen and uh ryan why, why, don't, you, why don't you tell them what else uh what the with the with the three step with why don't you tell them what yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the manscaped ultra smooth package mm -hmm. oh well it's a three-step kit to make your package the perfect package step one crop exfoliator infused with ingredients that help reduce the risk of ingrown hairs in your delicate places step two Crop Gel. See where you're shaving with our unique clear shaving gel just for the groin. With four essential oils, it's like a spa treatment every time you shave. Yeah, it is. And now, for step three. It's time to shave. Nice. If you want to shave your balls like Matt and Ryan from Super Mega and get 20% off and free shipping with code Super Mega, just go to manscaped.com and use code Super Mega. That's 20% off plus free shipping with code Super Mega at manscaped.com. 
tr trim your ch chesticles with the besticles with Manscaped. Summer is here, which might mean leaving the great indoors for a dip in the great outdoors, whether that's a pool, ocean, or fjord. MeUndies might be known for making the softest undies and bralettes in the world, but now they make swimwear too. Check out MeUndies first ever swimwear featuring bikinis, one pieces, and two different lengths of swim trunks. Yes! You can get short or long, you know? So if you're like me and you got skinny little white boy legs, you don't want to show all that all that white skin, so you can get longer ones. Each piece comes in solid colors and limited edition prints, so you can mix and match a swim outfit to fit your mood. Every piece of new swimwear collection comes in sizes XS to 4XL. They're also eco-friendly, which means you can hang out in the ocean with swimwear that's good for the ocean. There are roughly eight recycled plastic bottles in each pair of men's trunks. Wow. Isn't that a fun fact? That's amazing. Tell us about a bikini fact. Well, Ryan, each one-piece in bikini is made from recycled nylon derived from factory scraps and old fishing nets, which keeps our oceans looking beautiful. That's awesome. Yeah, dude. man. Ryan, I'm wearing MeUndies right now, and <gasps> so are you. And yep. guess what? We're going to go for a dip later today in my in my Olympic-sized swimming pool that's indoors and heated, and we're going to wear our With MeUndies With all your pet trunk. fish? Oh, yeah. Oh, I love playing with them. Just bring them in the pool with me. <laughs> MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first-time purchasers, you get 15% off and free shipping. And Matt, how, how can they, you know, get get their 15% I'll off? Tell, I'll, I'll tell them, Ryan. If you want to get 15% off your first order and free shipping, simply go to MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. That's MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. Nice. Nice, Beck. Uh, those are good ad reads. Actually, yeah, those are great wait, ad reads. Uh, went on for a while. Me, um, take, uh, I got a piss. I gotta, there's, a lot, there's a lot of piss in my cock right now. I gotta drain that thing. Are we gonna take another break right after the ad reads? We, we can have the McGee and Justin cast until Matt gets. You're peeing. only peeing, right? Mm hmm. No poop. So you're gonna be quick. So we can continue to go on. Well, I'm gonna grab myself another drink from the kitchen. Okay. If that's okay. Yeah, I didn't know if you were pausing because you were gonna offer me a drink or anything. Oh, well, I was gonna surprise you, but oh, now really? the surprise is spoiled. Oh, so sorry. I won't be bringing you a drink. That's fine. Do you want some Hennessy? Um. No, I don't want any Hennessy. Jacob drank a lot of that. <laughs> That's Do you nice want some Hennessy? Sound. Justin, please try some Hennessy. Just a tiny little sip. Justin's never had just straight liquor. Dude. Uh, Dude. Just, just a little just little hey, drop just, on your just tongue. Just one for the boys. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll have a sip. Just one for the boys. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Just a little sip. Justin, will you just do a tiny, just, tiny little sip? Just a little. Just a little he's ooh. never had liquor. Is this is the first time? This is peer time? pressure. That's going to burn. Not a super, super small sip. Just, like, let it touch your tongue. This is actual peer pressure. What the fuck? Drink. 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 drink, drink, drink. Pussy. Drink. Pussy on, boy. Take that sip. Take that sip of that Hennessy. Just a little one. Oh, that smells <laughs> disgusting. Justin, we both just sipped it, man. It's not, you're not gonna like it, Justin. I didn't. Well, I, know I didn't like it either. Like it. You're gonna feel Ooh. it in your chest for, like, five minutes. You know, it feels, it's nice and warm, though, I will say. It is nice and warm. Is this gonna fuck up my stomach? Possibly. No, it's just liquor. Uh, you had you had a you had sake the other day. Yeah. If you can handle sake, you can handle okay. liquor. Right. Just a little sip. Just a little bit, little bit. A little, touch your lips and then. Mmm. No, he likes it. Oh shit. What? Well, that that is burns. That, is that your apple juice? That ain't that, your new apple. That juice? ain't my apple juice. That's Daddy's <laughs> new apple juice. We're a long way from apple juice. <laughs> yeah. Is that your first time tasting just straight liquor? Straight liquor. Yeah. How you like it? It was all right. I mean, I don't think I'd make a hobbit. Or a hobbit. Oh, habit. he's drunk, dude. He's already <laughs> drunk. Oh, shit. I'm seeing things, what you do bro. is you, you mix this in with some Coca-Cola, some Dr. Pepper, and maybe Coke? some cheer wine if you have any. That's what Kelly always does. Kelly Kelly always- Hennessy? Kelly's a fucking out. Kelly yeah, slams Kelly's, the Hennessy. Kelly gets drunk every day. Literally every day. Never at night. Just during the day for some reason. Yeah, well, she has to sleep so that she can drink more than that. <laughs> Can't imagine someone She's got to sweat that. out all the mm -hmm. alcohol. Yeah, Justin, but... you got to shit the alcohol ah. out. Dude, I'm glad Justin's first taste of straight liquor was, was some Henny on the <laughs> that Super is Mega true. Cast. The first... The, dude, the first... It's documented now. So now when I'm like 80 years old, I can go... Oh, I remember my first, first taste of Hennessy. My first sip of Hennessy. Hennessy is... I bet my mom's going to listen to this and just be just sad. Outraged? She's going to be so mad just that disappointed. her adult son what? had a sip it's of Hennessy. It's not bad. It's only in moderation where... I feel that. Yeah. yeah. Like here? Yeah. Right now it's moved down to here for me. It's Why do you think stomach. Russians drink so much? Oh, it's so cold. You, you got to warm yourself. Your stomach. That, shit's, that shit might actually like... Is that Jackson? Yeah, he closed the gate. Oh. Uh, where am I supposed to ride my one wheel? Uh, bend over. I'll show you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 
Dude, I feel I fucking like feel it moving. Yeah. What the fuck? It's like if you drink really cold water, except mm-hmm. if that water was a poison trying to t- attack your liver. Well, you know well, why? Now you get... I really regret drinking. <laughs> that. This is uh, alcohol. No, that's poison. alcohol in general. Alcohol's poison. Your liver has to has to go through any like. So the sake we drank is very is very smooth. For example, it's Tennessee. It's not as not angry so at me. I'm not, I'm not. I don't think the alcohol's angry. It's at fire me. water, Justin. This is like if Big Red were an alcohol. No, that's not that's, yeah, that's, fireball. That's, that's this, fireball. This is angry. This is like, why did you drink me? And Hennessy the sake is, is just like, you can. I don't. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, Hennessy is just cognac. I'm. Not, I'm just not a fan well, of cognac. Well, let me take another swig. Ooh, we're taking a Ooh, big one. That's a big swig. Ooh. <sighs> you want to finish the bottle there? Yeah. Go, Go ahead. ahead. Oh. <laughs> god damn. damn. Fuck. Woo. Oh my god. Shake it around. Let everyone know that it's empty. <laughs> hit hit the empty bottle. <laughs> damn, sure. Justin. <laughs> Man, what's, what's, is there a better way to hit the bottle? We might have just sound? knuckles. Let me see if I can. <laughs> Try to like do like blowing. Oh, I feel that. I feel all that. <laughs> and pass out. Holy shit! It feels like my entire body is on fire. Hey, Hennessy, Hennessy will do that. It's gross. It's really How gross. How did they get in here to begin with? Uh, too mad. Too mad. Uh, yeah. Uh. I think Jackson brought it and gave it to Too Mad like oh yeah the podcast, okay what, I thought blue. okay yeah <laughs> what's Jackson doing out there he's playing around in the garage some little short shorts on <laughs> <laughs> where is he is he in the garage he was just he was just there okay I really do have to go pee though oh yeah oh yeah you oh there he is there he is him what's he doing is he lifting boxes this window is perfect when he's outside just get a paintball gun and shoot him with it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Ryan, that was the real gun. Dude, he's picking up all of our water bottles. Aw, what the fuck? Oh, he just looked at us for a second. Wait, his pants are so short because he's underwear through, like yeah. from the bottom. Do you see that? Are they, they're hiked up. Are they supposed to be worn like that? Uh, it's like a personal preference, but I can see his boxers. So they're longer than his. Well, he needs shorts. to get shorter. He needs to get whitey tidies then. Tidy, yeah, absolutely. Is it tidy whitey tidies? Whitey tidies. Tidy whitey. Tidy whitey. You said whitey tidies. Oh, whitey tidies. <laughs> whitey's on the moon. Oh, he's picking up a big box. There he goes. <laughs> Look at him go. With his big muscles. He does have big muscles. Not as big muscles as you, Justin. No, I have mm. the biggest. He wishes. Um, go okay. pee? I'm going to go pee. Have fun. Thanks. You guys, what do you, you guys can talk about some like video games? Or I something? guess. We're gonna, uh, we can talk about E3 coming up. Yeah. Mm. Which is, uh, oh, we got a lot to talk about when I'm back, actually. It's the... Okay. <sighs> we haven't even talked about... Have we? The what? That's car. Oh fuck! No, we have not. <laughs> All right, let me uh, let me go pee, and then we'll talk about that. You guys, you why were you you you, you, you were speaking in code word? When is the Microsoft? Con- is that the thirteenth? The day 13th, before my birthday? Yeah, 13th. at ten a.m. Someone's birthday is next. So it's either gonna. Oh, we're gonna be filming on your birthday. Is that okay? Yeah, that's Hopefully fine. Fifteenth instead. I mean, I mean, remember, it's it's y'all who usually plan something for my birthday. I never really have anything planned for my birthday. It's fine. You just left. He he literally walked away. He as asked you the were question speaking. and then and then, <laughs> yeah, I was then he speaking, walked and then, away. And then he turned around and walked. He out. walked away. Your birthday is on the fourteenth. You're gonna be thirty. Six. Thirty six. Yeah. Dude, that's crazy. You're missing six years, buddy. Well, I, you just you just don't look it. Oh, thanks. You don't look a day over forty. Hey, soon I'm gonna start sunbathing though, and I'll get that leathery grandpa skin. Oh, dude. That you get to climb on like a rock wall that, when that you're a classic kid. Florida look. So so real quick. For all you nerds out there who are interested in E3, mm-hmm. man, <sighs> Halo Infinite. It's probably gonna be ass. I'm gonna be straight up. Wait, it's, no. it's, it's, we're probably gonna get disappointed <clears throat> by the whole E3 conference or Halo Infinite. Ha- Halo. They well, I have, have to be prepared to be disappointed. Yeah, I'm because I'm they trying sh- to just set myself up. Because like when I watched that Sonic thing, and I saw that trailer at the end, and it was that like was this, ass. You know that that <clears throat> meme of of Patchy the pirate, and he's just like, that's it. Oh yeah, that was just a cheap walk cycle. And then he goes crazy and starts throwing stuff around and ripping off down his like SpongeBob. Beats the shit out of his parrot. <laughs> yep, <laughs> with almost, hook. almost like beats him to death. Yeah, but yeah, I, uh, I, I, I don't want to be prepared to be disappointed. I'll just the only thing I want to do is have fun running around as Master Chief, getting some headshots on some grunts. You know, we're fighting elites and brutes. We're fighting, ja- you know, we're fighting yeah. the whole... They haven't showed any Promethean I w- shit. We'll I would see. like to be optimistic, but I just have this feeling... Oh the, oh, the armor shit is awful. Yeah. For those who don't know, um, and I don't even know if you... So, originally in Halo, 
multiplayer, you got to choose your armor color. It's primary and secondary, and they had a, a slew of colors you could choose. You from. could go Different very shades. like you had a lot of options to customize yeah. what your character looked like. Primary especially would be in, like the most of your armor, and then the secondary would be like stripes or like some of the shoulder Reach, padding. I think, I think Reach had like the best as far as like there was like say. a ton of options. Uh, the most iconic stuff for me is from Halo Three. Well, Three is what kind of started all that shit yeah. with like mixing the armor and stuff. I think it is. Um, you yeah, got to fuck with elite armor too. In this new one, uh, you have to. It's all the the combinations for the colors are predetermined, right? Yep. Yep. They're they're preset, so no so more choosing fun, your favorite yeah. color. No oh, fun. No if, fun allowed. If you want to choose your favorite mixture of colors, you have to buy and or earn it. And that's not even promising that they will have the color stupid, selection dude. you like. All we'll they, see what they have at the base. Maybe they'll have, I don't know. They have the, the perfect blueprint we already. We get to have Look better at, detail when we get to bake in the design. And I understand, like, why I guess they did it. Well, no, I don't. Because primary and secondary is just like, people have their colors in Halo. Yeah. Like, I, I have, like, blue and black. That's me, too. Hey. Blue and black. Blue and black. No, 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 wait. I did blue and white for a while, okay. actually. Like, all white with, like, blue stripes. I was, like, blue. Yeah, just blue and black. And then I would I would just switch out the helmet a lot. I, I always went back to, like, the base Mark IV yeah. uh, helmet. But then, uh, with the Master Chief Collection, when they gave it to everyone, because I think beforehand you either had the... Bungie would have to give it to you, or you would then you had to do like the road to recon challenges. Like boys but then there. they just gave you recon in in uh, the Master Chief collection. So I just put that on. I, I, I had a prediction. Been... You guys would be talking about Halo when I walked in. Of course. I like Halo. We're, we're going to see how a Halo Infinite turns out. You excited? Well, so, uh, I'm. My, my, my expectations are tempered. You've been so excited in the past. Expectations are tempered. No, 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 come on. I, th I was at Target. Jackson just mouthed it's going to be bad. Well, I was at Target and I talked to the guy working there for like 30 minutes about how bad Halo 5 was. Yeah. Well, Halo 5's like multiplayer. You talked to Justin to that play. long? <laughs> but like, it just, um, I think Halo 4 was the worst feeling Halo for me. Five. See, 5 felt a little more fluid when they got the thrusters and stuff. I played mostly Warzone with Justin, though. Yeah, that was fun. Just hours and hours of Warzone firefight. I guess something in campaign. I don't okay, campaign we'll was see, Hey, you got Chief's got the grappling hook. So Laura Croft. Just cause, you know. Tomb Tomb Raider? Yeah, they got Tomb Raider in it. But we'll see how it turns out. Anyways, that's the end of the Halo discussion. Matt wanted to talk about NASCAR and how we <laughs> how our beautiful car was 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 total. Yeah. Uh for those who don't know. Hey buddy. For those who don't know, we uh this is our first podcast back since Ryan has been out of town on his his yearly trip back home. I can't believe it's already over. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, but while we were there, we met up in Charlotte, North Carolina. I flew out there, uh, met up with Ryan, and we went to uh, the Xfinity 300 NASCAR race because uh, a little a little certain YouTube channel sponsored a race car in the NASCAR race, and we got our logo and faces on a gigantic NASCAR. Which we're getting some pieces sent to us yeah. because it wrecked. It crashed. But it was Justin, you saw how like close he came the first time. He went, oh, yeah. dude, that oh, was, that was some skill. Tommy, Joe? shout out to Tom, Tommy Joe. Tommy, Tommy Joe, Joe Martins. Martins, you're fucking amazing. I if, love if, Tommy Joe. If you're into NASCAR and even if you're not, check out Ch Tommy Joe Martins. What a, what a sweet. He's so man. nice. He had us. He had us. He's had been having a streak of bad luck these last few races. I know. I he saw. got hit, which made him crashed, and then last race his his engine died. His engine just. <sighs> it's like he's a great driver. That too. one happened in the Super Mega Mobile. Really? It wouldn't. No. Mm -mm -mm. See, the only our reason engine, that, our, our engine didn't, our car's engine didn't fail. The only reason it crashed got was clicked because in the back. fucking the black oh, rifle yeah. coffee car was what caused the fucking crash. It's a very on brand. <sighs> I'm, I'm waiting for Louder with Crowder to have a NASCAR. Oh, I mean, black rifle coffee, close enough. Yeah. yeah. They're all veterans from the Iraq war. On like on the on like Steven Crowder's car, it would be like him in a sombrero, then another one of him in blackface, and then another one of him like wearing <laughs> So does that like, mean that Superman African hates the troops guard. now? Super Mega has always hated the troops. Okay, good. And that's on God. Uh, no, the back of the car had Ryan pointing and laughing and me crossing my arms with a smug smile and had a quote and it said, yep, you, you just, just got, got passed. passed. Which they Ryan zoomed McGee, in on. Yeah, on Fox Sports, after a car crash, they're telling it, they zoomed straight in on it. And good. so on Fox Sports, we have a video coming out, uh, hopefully this week. Been I've been working real hard on it. It's kind of tricky to edit, but uh, we, we did a whole vlog of the whole experience at the NASCAR uh, race and that should be coming out and you'll see all the Fox sports Plus another in special it. vlog that another special that, uh, vlog 
uh, our, fra- our one of our favorite restaurants, if not our favorite restaurant, Hooters. Two days ago, yes, Fred. Remember Fred? Hey, it's Fred! Figglehorn? And his little brother did a vlog at Hooters. Man, fuck Two them. Two days ago. Oh, but guess what? Guess what didn't happen? Oh, what? wait. We can't. I don't want to spoil anything about. It, oh, it's I, probably one I, of our. I, I said on Twitter, we took, we did, we took a fan to Hooters. Okay. But okay. The, that's not, that's not everything. That that's happened. not all. I don't want to give anything away. It's, Guys, it's, it's definitely, I think, one of the craziest good. experiences we had while just vlogging. We looked through all the footage. Please, whenever, please watch our NASCAR video. And then when the video, we took a fan to Hooters comes out, you're not going to want to miss that one. And also, we, uh, we're finishing up. Speaking of new content we're making, we're finishing up our first single for the album. Yep. That we're hopefully gonna hopefully that we're going to release this year. We're done with the record the recording. And yeah, uh today when mixed. I get home, I'm sending off the stems to Frank Jabsey to do a little bit of mixing and mastering. My boy, my boy Frank. And uh It's he te- good. He's texted me like four times today for the stems. I listen back to it and I'm and I get excited every time I, I played listen it on the way to, to work. It. Yeah, I did too. Uh and we'll be shooting the music video for it next week, so Justin came up with the with the idea and uh I came up with the idea, I found the beat and stuff too. Yeah. It's. I don't even know if we want to even. I think we should just. Be, like I don't even know if I want to go tease on Patreon. The, Patreon. Uh, I have posted. Uh, yeah, Patre- yeah, some videos. Yeah, no, hey, some videos yeah. and some pictures. Uh, some pictures and videos of behind the scenes while we were recording our first track. And there's videos of like all three of us at the mic together. And uh, you can hear little snippets in certain lines, uh, certain bars. Is that already out? I'm no, no, not okay. yet. I'm gonna put it out when I get home. It's gonna but be a lot of uh, a lot of I, I, me. If you want to know what the track is, like, though, you can go. All of us, like, please watch the and... clips before because I was just spewing uh, hate speech. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I, <laughs> I bleeped most of it out. Okay, some good. of it I couldn't because the context was needed. Well, some of it's just factual. Yeah. I was, exactly. gonna, I was gonna say whenever Ryan would do a take, he doesn't like. He would go fuck. <laughs> just like yell. I would do the same thing too. Just like no, Ryan's go to <laughs> when he when I'm he's gay. messing up lines. Yeah, he goes, I'm gay. Yeah, but I'm gay. Yeah. Every time. It's just so quick. Uh, but that was really fun recording that with you guys. We have I have a little studio at my house that's under construction. We did it we, in, a, in less in less than a day. We got to remember we did Blonde Boys thing. all in one yeah. sitting. Yep, Blonde Boys took what two hours? We got him. We got to. All we gotta do is just sit down, right? Like we can finish this album if we just if we get creative. I and think August will be a big month of working on it. August, I want to spend. So well, also, ju- I don't know if July's get- not even here. So definitely, definitely, definitely. <laughs> Here's definitely. the thing. <laughs> I, I, I that's such take- a good YouTuber name, dude. <gasps> Can I can I create another YouTube channel called Jeffinitely and it's my bike channel and it makes no sense and I'm like no, Jeff what if I just say I'm Jeff like hello my name's Jeff yeah you don't like don't do anything but I never say I'm like I never joke about it I never say like I'm Ryan but I like, wonder how I'm, like well of course fans now would know but like if you would just done oh, that's it, fine if fans like, know I feel like fans would play into it yeah. Gotta love Jeff. <laughs> I know. God. You know what? Dude, uh, I actually, that makes me want to do that. Do you like all the Jeff branding? Dude, please. Jeff and Italy Motors. <laughs> please make branding some Patreon. Just like you crossing your arms. Gotta love Jeff. <laughs> please make some Patreon bike vlogs, dude. Okay. Uh, but I, basically, I, I, we might go, I mean, I don't know if in July or August, uh, we're going to take some time and really hunker down and finish the book. And <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Sorry, through the side of me. I just slapped it out of midair. Jeez. Sorry, dude. You slapped it at me. It was pro- I was protecting myself. It was coming at me. Justin. What? That would have hit you in the head. Yeah. Well, I, I just trust you not to throw shit at me, I get. Fine. We're going to try to keep uploads very consistent, yeah, but we're going to take some shit? time just to work on the album and the you book and go what? heavy on it with the music videos and the... All right, I'm going to throw it like the, this. The, Ready? The, the you got to catch it like... Justin, I know I'm a, I'm a grown man. I can, I can catch it. That was loud. I wanted you to catch it a specific way like this. All right. Okay. They're tossing the politically incorrect sign. Oh, pa- back oh, and forth. Talk. Justin, over here. Justin, over here. Uh, over here. Justin, Justin. Come on, Justin. I'm open. I'm open. Oh. Over to Justin. One to Justin. What the? Right here. Right here, I'm Justin. I'm open. Go <laughs> long. Go long. Oh! Oh! Shit. Oh! Shit. Touchdown! The set. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, put, her, put her down, put her down, it's too dangerous. What? If that was sharp, that would have sliced hurt. his head off the way that it, Ow. uh... I'm sorry about that, The way that, that hit Justin. my ear, actually, like... He's deaf for the rest of his life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I already have, I already I had, have my ear ringing in my ears. Like in, like, like a... I have tonight's bad. Like a yeah, war movie, just... Like in Call Justin, are you okay? No, it's like in Call of Duty when you get hit by a flashbang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or uh, the what is it? The fucking oh my God, stun dude. grenade or Remember whatever. Remember how fucking annoying like people would play on modern, War- <laughs> dude. Okay, Ryan? the worst people in modern warfare or Call of Duty in general. It's the map shipment who just spam 
flash grenades. But oh, I had it. But and, I had, but and the gas grenades. Oh, and the no. Gas. Ryan got so annoyed that he would he would like he would just take whatever annoyed him the most and then use it against other people. <laughs> yep. I would I would go around with like a grenade launcher and like well, like what is the shot? What is that shotgun called? The seven two five. Yeah, I'd take around the seven two five cheese just, machine. I'd take around the cheese machine shipment. Just like throw gra- gas grenades. I'd, I'd throw down like flashbangs, oh, dude. Those were good. And then I just get up close. Boom. Well, right, all just, right at the height of the pandemic, man, we would all just get on Modern Warfare. And just <laughs> so you would just annoy them. people? Yeah. Well, speaking of annoying people, annoyed. here's some ad reads. Okay. Oh, man, Ryan, I wish that I had a pair of incredibly best on the market earbuds to listen to Ray J with. I know. And with so many banks I got to walk to on a day by day, I need something that has good, you know, battery life and it's comfortable. I know. When I'm taking my million dollar super mega weekly check to the bank, I want to listen to some good tunes like Ray J or Eminem. Yeah. And, you know, Raycon provides those earphones so you can. What? 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 They do. Seriously? I- I'm serious. Well, tell me more. Well, with a pair of Raycon wireless earbuds in your ears, you- it can make all the difference. You get crisp, powerful beats at half the price of other premium audio brands. Damn. Raycons also look great and feel even better. They come in a range of cool colors and with customizable gel tips included oh. for a comfortable in-ear fit. So no matter what shape or size my ear is, I can find a comfortable gel tip for it? That's yeah, crazy. exactly. I promise they'll fit your stupid, goofy ears, Matthew. And they're built to go wherever I go, with quick and seamless Bluetooth pairing in a compact charging case. You could charge them right in the case. Woohoo! 24-hour battery life, Ryan. When I'm using my Raycons, I love the 24-hour battery life, because I can listen to Slim Shady for 24 hours straight. <laughs> and listeners, listen up. Raycon's offering 15% off all their products for our listeners, and here's what you gotta do to get it. Go to buyraycon.com slash supermega. There, you'll get 15% off your entire Raycon order, and it's such a good deal, you want to grab a pair and a spare. Matt? That's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash supermega. B-U-Y raycon.com slash supermega. Hey, Ryan, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say a hot take. Your bank account should work with you, not against you. Why? Because it's... Because that's, that's what's in the best interest. Okay. And and that's what Chime is here for. Chime is an award-winning app and debit card with no hidden fees or monthly minimums. After all, you earned your money. You deserve to keep it. What kind of stuff does Chime offer? Fee-free overdrafting on up to $200 in debit purchases with Spot Me. It's like overdraft protection, but better. You also get your paycheck, benefits, stimulus check, and tax return up to two days earlier with direct deposit. Dude, that is awesome. When the government finally gives everyone too small amount of money for a stimulus check, it's it, 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 you get it faster. I get so happy. Also, not to mention there's no hidden fees or monthly minimums, plus 38,000 fee-free ATMs with MoneyPass and Visa Plus Alliance. Nice, man. And they got great security. Turn on alerts to let you know when your card is used and instantly block your card if something seems fishy. So those little scammers ain't getting far with Chime. And you can save on autopilot when you sign up for a Chime spending account. You can enroll in an optional savings account and grow your savings automatically with 0.50% annual percentage yield, APY. Oh, that's what APY stands for. Yeah, it's for. 10 times the national average. Wow. So join the millions on Chime. Sign up takes two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Apply now at Chime.com super. That's Chime.com super. We love it and we, we hope, uh, I mean, you will love it. I opened a checking account with Chime uh, because I always overdraft, and now I have fee-free overdraft protection. Nice. High five. (laughs) Chime is a financial technology company. Banking services provided by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank North America. Members FDIC. Eligibility requirements and overdraft limits apply. Overdraft only applies to debit card purchases. Limits start at $20 and may be increased up to $200 by Chime. Early direct deposit depends on the payer. Out-of-network cash withdrawal fees apply. Third-party and cash deposit fees may apply. Go to Chime.com slash super for details. And we're back from the nice. ad reads. Nice. No piss break this time, buddy. No, I didn't need to piss this time. Okay. Okay, just checking. Yeah, man, but, you know, with fucking Call of Duty, what a crazy game. Yeah, it is Modern it's Warfare was, wacky. I think, the best Call of Duty modern, game modern that has come out since Black Ops 2, for me, at not, least. Not enough colors for you, Matt? No. It's, <laughs> you know what, Justin, I don't appreciate that. Sorry. Dissing on my style because I like colorful. Too many inputs games. for you, buddy? 
<laughs> what, a, a, B, X, Y? What are the triggers? What do the triggers do? What am I doing? What am I saying? <laughs> when Trump was at the rally, he <laughs> yeah. talking about Xbox he, controls, how confusing they were. He, no, he's ta- he's making fun of a guy who can't play Xbox. He's making fun of the Cuphead journalist that couldn't finish the first level. <laughs> I that was really about funny. That, that was really funny, I will say. What's up, Creaky Bay? Just a heads up, I'm heading to Joanne's, but the landlord's come by to check on the Who's Joanne? Your girlfriend? <laughs> His little What's side this? piece, Joanne. No, um, but I'm running there. What is Joanne's? He's coming by today? Yeah, in just a minute, yeah. Okay, can Riddle we make sure that what there's nothing Joanne's? bad out? That's what I was doing right It's now. a craft store. It's like, like, I'm getting frames. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We should go check real quick, make sure there's nothing inappropriate out. Like, all, like the four Japanese porn magazines on my desk with the bottle of You want to go fix that? Them. Why'd you leave that there? You put those there, Jackson. I walked in, and there's four 7-Eleven <laughs> Japanese <laughs> porn mags. I know, yeah, I was looking like through them. I didn't. I don't watch Japanese Justin? porn. What? Yeah, you read You're looking through them. <laughs> yeah. Wait, that might be him right there. What are you doing? Fuck the doorbell. Okay, he's here. Actually, I'm gonna go behind them. Okay. <laughs> so, so Halo. Wait, the AC hopefully will. Halo. Hey. Oh, dude. I I have faith that at least it'll be somewhat fun in single player. I maybe I don't know. I think they're gonna do a big multiplayer I mean, we'll reveal on the thirteenth. We'll be able to explore like a big open area together. That's the landlord. In Halo. The landlord. The landlord of the super megaplex is here. Do we have to be quiet? You want to interview him? Yeah. Let's let, let's say let's say hey to him. Let, let, let him see how we operate. <laughs> do you think he do you think he'd be okay with being on mic? Hey, how's it going? Good. Just doing a podcast. Yeah, a little, little yeah, yeah. Little toasty. Is there anything? Oh, uh, well, there's the big cum. There's the big white bottle that says cum that he just walked by. Well, it's empty though. Yeah, it's empty. <laughs> I drank it all. Is there anything outside that we should be wearing? Dude, hope not. Table, I'm, I'm oh, cool. Around. Well, this is the cleanest it's ever been when he's come over. Mm, true. So that's good. Because remember one time he came over, it stunk to high heavens. There's a big piece of shit out there. What? Right there. Don't say that about the landlord. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big piece Are you pointing at the van? <laughs> yeah, the van. I'm just going to... I've decided I'm going to keep the van until we're done with the office. Once I'm going to keep it parked there so we can film in it and, and make use of it. But then, <laughs> that was a good way to itch your... <laughs> Ryan was like... <laughs> like using his tongue oh, to push his mouth against the microphone. But once once we move out, I'll sell it. But for now, I'm going to leave it here. Cause the frame's broken, so I can't really yeah. drive oh, it. It's but clogging I'm, up my one-wheel space. <sighs> I got a shred, dude. Know, dude. How are you gonna take? How are you gonna take any sick jumps over there now? Exactly. We can build a ramp that goes up the van, up the back. To the dude, top. I gotta learn to take inclines and like downhills on the one wheel. That's what I'm scared of. Gotta build for. you a massive ramp so that you can jump over the van. Okay. Like evil can evil stuff. At a max speed of sixteen well, evil, miles per evil hour. Evil can died doing a stunt. Exactly. Did he really? Is that how he died? Isn't it? I think it is. I don't know. What stunt? He died doing what he loves. Hold up. I'll, I'll look it up. Which stunt was it? Was what he jumping the Grand I, Canyon? What would happen if I drove this motorcycle over the Grand Canyon? What would happen if I drove this motorcycle into a brick wall with dynamite strapped to my chest? He died of... Oh, never mind. He died of a pulmonary disease in Clearwater, Florida. He died of a pulmonary disease was he old that he got he while 69. doing a jump. 69! Hey. Dude, the landlord's here. <laughs> uh, he loves that. He, he loves ninja, ninja uh, fart party. Got him. Dude, Ninja Fart Party is... At, I, <laughs> they they released a new music video called The Mystic Crystal. The Crystic Mistal. Dude. So, okay. No, I am so I excited I don't know why I album. thought he died in an accident. I, just I thought he did, too. He, did. he fell into the Grand Canyon while doing a backflip. Oh, I'm thinking of in Hot Rod where <laughs> where his dad was suppo- supposed <laughs> to And he, and he talks about how, like, he, he, like, goes into detail about how gruesome the accident was. He's like, like he died immediately. The next day. <laughs> yep. <it's> so <laughs> That's such a good movie, man. <laughs> Oh, well, we watched that last time you were out here, Justin. I think that was the last time, yeah. And Will that Arnett was, uh, plays the uh, the boyfriend. This is the first time you saw it. Yep. I'm so glad you that got was to see in, it. That was a very interesting watch. I liked it. You don't like? It do you like just, it? No, yeah, I do. It was just, it was like different. <laughs> I love when Danny McBride's doing the high fives. He's like, that's how it's done. <laughs> Dude, the Lonely Island needs to make more. I honestly, the Lonely Island's a huge inspiration for our album. They always have been. Oh yeah. Are there any days it's bad to have an AC tech come specifically? Mm, not that I can think of. But well, we need to be here, of course, or. We're, I mean, we're recording videos on Friday, yeah. right? Friday. After I take the We're not going to be here tomorrow, so, I mean, tomorrow would be... If, if, but that's how they can get in tomorrow, he was saying it might be too soon. I mean, I can, I can leave a key somewhere. No, like, uh, <laughs> to get somebody... I just don't want to bother you guys. Oh, no, no, oh. no, you're, ne- you're never bothering us, it's fine. Okay, okay. yeah. Yeah, just, just whatever, whatever works. Okay. Totally cool. Yeah, it's not the same problem as before, nothing's frozen over, so... Oh, okay. 
things low on free on or something. Oh, okay, okay. cool, cool. Right, I'll call Thank you. As we're heading into those summer months, a little toasty. Oh, it's starting. To, it's going to start to get hot. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it was cold yesterday morning. Well, it gets, two days ago, it was a little drizzly. Too. It kind of reminds yep. me of South Carolina where it feels nice and breezy at night, and all of a sudden the next day you're just sweating bullets. See, Jackson. Dude, it is actually like the weather. Have you noticed it's been a lot? It's been a lot cooler. The fuck. Just, what are you looking for? Justin, stop looking at misogynist people. It's man. hard not to. It is hard not to. Yeah. Have you ever, uh, have you Nose noticed? Nose for uh, two. SpongeBob. Come on. Dude, I like I got SpongeBob. sweat underneath those. Did you, did you, did act, you actually lick just it, lick yeah. your Was finger? Was it salty? A little bit. Okay. Have you uh, noticed that this year in LA, like, have you noticed, like, so now we're in June. Have you noticed it's been, like, a little bit, like, colder up to this point than it normally is? Like, Which it, I like. It hasn't been, you've noticed that, right, though? It hasn't well, been, like, as excruciatingly hot as other years. No. I, I like it when it gets cold here. So like, when there's, like, a warming bit of window. Cooler. Oh, exactly. Like, if you, if you looked at the years where it's, like, the last 40 years or whatever of, like, Google Earth, all I'm saying is the ocean's coasts aren't rising. Mm-mm. Okay? Nope. So, w- w- when's that supposed to happen? Uh, maybe in like a billion years. You know, I was actually watching a video on YouTube about how life started on Earth up to the point now. There's been so many extinction events and in, in ice ages and Arctic shit. And so, you know what, uh, Mr. Gore, I think maybe it's time for you to take a seat and get that wig snatched, sis. Because uh, global Amen. warming is just not real. Amen. Do people still deny that? Is it, are, like, yes. What do you mean? Do people yeah. still deny that? Yeah. Probably everywhere. People deny shit all like people, probably most on Facebook, dude. If there's if there's a fact, you you bet you your ass. Be you bet idiot. your ass. There's some fucking conspiracy theorist nut out there trying to prove it wrong. You have to legitimately be an idiot to deny. Like, there's people who think change. gravity's fake. It is. There's a big <laughs> magnet in the center of the earth that's What's pulling gravity? me down. What is it? Does, uh, is the that, is that a song? To, people say that like, like our skies are fake. Gravity. Yeah. Stay the song. hell like, the, away from the horizons me. and everything. Like at night is just a projection. The hologram, yeah, it was put here by Obama. You know, the one I do believe in though is that the Pope is a holograph. A hologram. Hologram, yeah. Holograph. <laughs> I have the holographic Pope trading card. <laughs> okay, good, dude. The Pope is because where he hologram. just disappears out at the window. Where yes. He goes, there's him waving out the window. Then he turns and he just goes, literally disappears. Yeah, everyone instantly. has to be standing perfectly in front of him because if you go to the side, it's just no. That actually. Happened. No, no, Justin. Have you seen the video where he disappears? No. Hold up. The, he, like, I'll see if I can find the Pope. It. I like they legit just projected a hologram of him, dude, because he's actually dead. What? Uh, no, for real. The Pope is a is a hologram. I'm not kidding. I accidentally put in, I I put in pop hologram and it gave me um, <laughs> Ricky and Mo- Ricky and Morty, <laughs> Richard and Mortimer. Mortimer. <laughs> Video shows. Did you know I saw Gangnam Style before it was even at like two hundred thousand views? Really? Yeah, because How'd you find it. Uh, I knew this this Korea boo in high school, and he was helping me learn some. So watch it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Watch this. His window. It's when he turns away, right, Matt? Yep. When he walks back in. He's walking back in. They cut it short accidentally. What the hell? Right. I- he just, he just he just disappears, and some people are like, "Oh, it's the it's the he walked into a shadow." It's it's literally one frame though. It's just instantly he's gone. What the fuck? The Pope's a fucking hologram. The Pope Justin. is a hologram. Do you see that though? Shrouded hand, a YouTuber I like. He made a video about it. I haven't watched that one, but have they have they said it's? He should just come right out and say it's a hologram. It was an act of God. The the goofiest thing, or I guess the sweetest thing I've ever seen is when. Um, is is when Kanye put Kim Kardashian's dad on stage. Oh, dude. Her, 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 dad, your her, husband mother, is, her deceased father. Baby, your husband is so talented. <laughs> who could have seen him getting this far? He's beautiful. He's a very talented. You're married to the most famous man on earth. I like that Kanye writing the script for her dad, her dead dad, to say literally like boosted himself up in the script. I mean, that's Kanye, right? Yeah, yeah. that's him. Well, they're divorced now or they're getting a divorce. I think they're divorced now. Man, rich people can get that shit quick. Yeah, I think so. Rich people can get anything. Usually it takes some fucking time. The state is like, hey, you need to be separated for a year unless there's any, like, abuse or cheating. That's a stupid rule. If you want to get divorced, you should... Also, divorce, like, minimums, like, 30 grand. Just make sure you're not making a mistake. I know. It's stupid. Like, if you want to get divorced, it's... Dude, it's so expensive, man. My mom has, like, no money. And getting divorced, like, so much money. Even if there's no fighting involved. Just just having to actually, like, file everything. Because you have... South Carolina, you have to do the... What's it? Not deviation. What's it called? You have to do the separation period. 
Yeah, and you also have to do the uh, the thing with the lawyers, which is like three thousand an hour, mm-hmm. some shit. Where you're required, even if there's no fighting, you agree, you have to do the these like processes and these meetings and stuff. It's just like, dude, who fucking Jesus Christ? Who's fucking Jesus Christ? Who's fucking him? Uh oh, oh Mary what's... Magdalene. No, no, it's not Mary Magdalene. Well, Jesus did get fucked, but it was by his friend Judas. Yeah, it was. Judas fucked him right in his tight little Jesus butthole. Figured the landlord be. walks in. What the fuck are you talking struck about? By lightning. Do you believe from in that who? Shit, Zeus, the god of yeah. thunder. <laughs> Zeus is a Christian. Zeus isn't the god of thunder. Who's the god? Hercules? Is Hercules the god of thunder? It's Poseidon. Poseidon's the god of the ocean, dumbass. <laughs> Thor is the god of thunder. Oh, fuck. I haven't oh seen wait, that. I think they're different because, like, you know how there's like Nordic and what's the other one? There's like different fucking gods. I can't is remember. Zeus god of war? No, Zeus. I thought Zeus is god of like lightning. Yeah, he's lightning, right? Yeah, or thunderbolts like and lightning. Very, very frightening. Same thing. What? Hey, dude, Kratos is god of war. <laughs> Wait, Zeus is. is he Zeus god of is the sky and thunder god in okay. ancient Greek religion. Okay, who rules as king? Wait, then the Thor, gods oh, Thor. Wait, I wasn't even thinking. Yeah, Thor's the fucking Norse god. Yeah, Zeus is the Greek. God? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. It's like it's the different gods. I got them confused. Zeus, god of thunder. <sighs> fuck. Man. Then how come he's throwing lightning bolts? Thunderbolts and lightning, I know, dude. what the fuck is up with that? At least Thor has a hammer. Thunder is just the Boom. sound of lightning. And he knows Tony Stark. He does know Tony Stark. And dude, the Incredible Hulk. if you could Hulk. fucking actually throw lightning bolts, how sick would that be? Like, <laughs> From my hands, like, shocker? Lightning bolts are hotter than the surface of the sun. Wasn't there a... Oh, who who is the superhero? Shock Shocker? No, Shocky. What's his name? Static Shock. Static, Static Shock. Shock. Yeah. yeah, that was a good ass show. So I watch that at like show. like a daycare all the yeah. time. Well, what's funny actually is in high school, uh, I met this guy on Facebook. Um, <laughs> dude, so, sorry, dude. I met this guy on Facebook, and he invited me to come make some videos with him in Charleston because he made videos, and he was obsessed with Static Shock. <laughs> Uh, he was obsessed with Static Shock, and he made his own little, like, fan short film where he played Static Shock, and he had a good costume. Was he white? No, he was black. Okay. He looked <laughs> just like him, too. Like, he did such a- he made his own short film. I think you should be- you would be a good Static Shock. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> uh, no, but- me, He's already me, played Mowgli. We used to- <laughs> We used to hang out, though, and, uh, you know, actually, we made- we made this video that people found recently, where I'm in- I think I was in 10th grade, I'm a little boy, uh, but it's like- it's like boys versus girls. Like we went to this abandoned like warehouse and like we had fake guns and shot this YouTube video on like an Why not old real ass. guns. You lived in the south. Um, that's she point. could just gone to fucking like CVS and gotten an assault rifle. I am in one of pull them really hard. So it looks, really? like, so it looks like the force. Sorry, I just cut back in. We're talking in. about uh, we're talking about small little filmmakers that we knew in high school in Charleston that were trying to make like hits and. I, I was in another one where I, it's like an old timey. Were there guns in this one too? Yeah, well this kid was obsessed with Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. Like. There has to be guns. Like, no, e- no, e- the know, classic white teenager that loves Quentin Tarantino. Get your feet away from me, bro. Excuse me? Get your, it's, these are, these are Justin, fucking vans. Stop. Did you just touch my vans? I did, dude. Ryan, you look great What in the fuck vans. is wrong with I you? I literally helped you pick these out, bro. You did. Why are you, why are you doing this? I'm you not even what? touching I, you. I told you to get stupid shoes. So why are you moving stupid. my feet? Your hand isn't even there. Your hand is inside the Justin, I can see them. Justin, what? Stop. Okay. I like you in those fans, Ryan. Thank you. Normally, I, I never see you wearing any shoes, but now you got some cool Justin, kicks. help me pick them out at Zoomies. I, I like them. <laughs> it was either that or like an all pair of fucking like black Converse that looked really sick. I also got uh, cor- Corona pants. Like the beer. Like the virus? No, you fucking dumbass. Git. Is that, is that a bad word? Yeah. Git. I'm calling you a pedophile. Is, git is that what that word? is? I've never even heard that word. Look, hold up. G-I-T? I yeah. guess, yeah. Is that a real word? Yeah. yeah, I've heard people Ye use it before. Ye fucking get. Oh, it's a British. What of course it is. Does oh, I any I I get. Get means an unpleasant or uh, contemptible person. Never mind. What's the British slang that calls? Is like it. It's nonce. You talking about for a pedo? Have, oh, is that ask, nonce? Oh, you fucking nonce. Is that what a nonce is? I, yeah, we'd have to ask Kelly's friend. No, Joe. no, it's nonce because there's a there's a YouTube channel called like Nonce okay. Hunter, and it's those guys that do it like coined vigilante. or used one a, a nonce. What does? Oh, come on. What does nonce? Nonce is a is a pedophile. You better be. 
Better be a pedophile. Ryan, were you a person who commits a crime involving sex, especially with a child? Yep. Were you in the Discord chat when I was like reading off a bunch of like British slang to yeah, our yeah, friend yeah. Joe? And <laughs> that like, Joe? we were playing Sea of like, Thieves. Yeah, and and, she, and, she, and I was like reading like the most ridiculous shit off. She's like, "Yep, I've heard of that." Like, "Yep, yep." That's she loved word. it. She uses. She said, "I love using these on a daily basis yeah. when I'm taking a walk." Yep. We're Todd's gonna get so wallow. many people in trouble. Todd's we got crank. Going. We got crank Eef in trouble. Oh, dude. Crank Eve plays. The Eve Crank plays? gameplay stands. We're not happy that he laughed at a joke we made about Markiplier being in the Ku Klux Klan. Then we got Travis, uh, Trevor canceled. <laughs> Who? <laughs> <laughs> Trevin? The one with the, uh, he, uh, I think he fucked up while shaving and, like, nicked part of his eyebrow off. Oh, the ugly one. Yeah. <laughs> he, 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 he tripped and he got those nails stuck in his ear. Yeah, he's the guy with the underbite. Yeah, oh, that's Jesus a Christ. <laughs> nah, he must always be smelling his breath with that underbite. Like, that's like, far <laughs> out, man. Come on. He whistles every time he breathes he out. He looks like fucking Eustace <laughs> from, uh, he looks like Eustace from, uh... Curse the, the Cowardly, cowardly Dog. dog. Yeah. Dude, people are gonna be so upset. Uh, Trevor's the fucking nicest dude. Smallest penis I've ever seen, though. It is, it's a very small penis, but he, <laughs> he's very nice. He's, he's really handsome, and he's a great dude. Makes he, up for his small penis. We should hire him for Super Mega. Make him the unofficial third member, and then uh, fire him a week later as a prank. How about we just tell him he's a part of Super Mega? Get him really excited. He moves from <laughs> Austin back to Los Angeles. And then we fire him And then we fire him publicly. So people are like, wait, what? On a live stream, What too. happened? And then just ghost him all the time. Make, like, passive-aggressive tweets about it. Soft block him. Like, just, like, like act, like act like he did something really mean, but he doesn't even know what he did. So it's, like, all these passive-aggressive tweets. Like, dude, what the hell, man? <laughs> oh! He's like, does Ryan fucking hate me? He really went in on me on this. Dude, dude, I think, I think Ryan on, might hate man. me, dude. Come on, man. Do you want to go fishing in Minecraft at some point? Oh, dude. Fucking nerd, Trevor. You can't go fishing anymore. They fucking sucked your fish fishing shack into a black hole. And they did. Deleted Trevor it. killed my fishing village. Yeah, and he killed Epic SMP, too. He did. That guy ruined Epic S. So if you have any like angry tweets or 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 DMs you'd want to send to anyone, it would be Trevor. At what? Modest Cube. That's right. Uh, How dare you, MSMP, <laughs> you fucking freak! <laughs> Man, God, when I was running Epic SMP, honestly, I was doing a good job. I was updating it for the eight hours you were. <laughs> and, it, and and yes, and I did a great job. And then Trevor gets on. Uh, and you know, he tries to manage it and Dude, well, he we, actually blocked you from joining. That's why you never showed up again. Yeah, I wanted to play, but Trevor got so uh, it was, it zealous was so with funny power. When, when Matt kept teleporting us to wherever he was, and then I lost all of my shit three times. Oh, is someone mad about losing some virtual items in Minecraft, yeah. Justin? It ruined my entire month. <laughs> Dude, I, my he like throws his keyboard. <laughs> my, <laughs> my two favorite things on that server were uh, Markiplier when he joined. I thought, oh my I god, thought that was hilarious. It was, was kind of shy. And then and know. then me just me fucking with Meat Canyon. With you the teleport cheeks. into the yeah. sky and he <laughs> fell. He, he like what the fuck? Then you just hear. Ah! Best clip is when we were throwing sand in his little sand castle, and he goes, "Curse you, prank <laughs> brothers!" But it fades out because of the proximity chat. Dude, I love uh, I proximity love, chat was amazing. My that. favorite moment is when you're opening up like the doors, and you if it, you just open and it's Markiplier. It's like, get out, get out, shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was great. Man, that, hey, Epic S and P for the short time I lasted was very fun. Trevor actually mentioned bringing it back for the new update, but you'd have to show up. I, I would not be opposed. He said for to, the first day. I wouldn't be opposed to going back on S Epic S and P again. I just don't stream enough for it. Yeah, I kind of stopped streaming. Fuck, I'm I still paying I for it. I haven't hosting. streamed in half a year, maybe a little more. No, it hasn't been half. Hasn't been oh half. my god, like, dude! Epic S and P was sure? January. Yeah, it's been like since March. Okay. No, Epic S and P was February and January. Oh, so, so I haven't been gone that long. Mm. Oh, okay, I've been gone long. What? What? I tried to get you with too slow, but it didn't. <laughs> Damn, that's fast, man. I'm a fast boy. <laughs> damn, god Fastest damn, hands in the West. Stop! Stop! <laughs> dude, holy shit, you're fast. I was trying to do the... the. Yeah. Stop, dude. How do you, how would you do it that fast? The too slow? He I don't want to give away my secret. What the... I practiced for years. Stop, dude. What the fuck? How do you every do it time, so fast? Every time you think you I have, have no way to outdo it, man. Why do you think he smokes weed so much? Whoa, dude. What the fuck? You're like those jazz musicians that do heroin. <laughs> The jazz musicians did heroin because it said it would slow well, down time. It's not time, fair. So they... I did do some cocaine before. So well, the jazz more... musicians did heroin because they said it slowed down time so they could play faster. Have you seen the gif of uh, Hitler on uh, meth? Uh, meth at yeah. the Olympics? Yeah. He looks like the average super mega fan right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a Tickle Me Elmo. Uh, yeah. it looks like, like I malfunction and then I come back to... <laughs> 
What is a woodpecker <laughs> laugh? Isn't it tickle tickle me Elmo? Was isn't the whole the, reason that that uh, the woodpecker laugh? Isn't that what that is? <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we tickle me Elmo is the whole reason Travis the chimp did what he did. Who? Travis the chimp. Travis Trevor the, the chimp. chimp. Trevor the Trevor the chimp. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no, but you, but you know the reason he attacked that woman and ripped her face off uh, before the police officer shot him dead was because she she picked up his tickle me Elmo and he didn't like that so he also because his owner put him on Xanax which you're not supposed to give monkeys <laughs> and kept him like in that. a cage filled yeah. filled with shit so and piss she picked up his tickle me Elmo and he said you know what I'm gonna rip your face off and he did he was just being a monkey Travis the pimp baby he literally was he was just being yeah a monkey. Like, and they killed him for it he, he was just being wait, a monkey I, they, I, oh yeah they, yeah, did they shot him, him dead. She's like how they killed. Well, he was uh, going crazy. He was. I mean, he was having. He, he kind of had to stop him. Yeah. He was having. But a, still, he was just being a, a fucking chimp. That's the thing when people they get like pet chimps and stuff. It's like just any kind of exotic. Don't pet. do that. No, this is like I see those videos. They're not like, meant to be pets. I see those videos of dudes like hanging out with like their pet tigers and shit in their house. It's what always the, like the the Saudi Arabian like sons of like uh, oil tycoons. And they got like lions and they got tigers lions and, and tigers and, and bears. Like, oh my! <laughs> I think one of my favorite memories in terms of like animals or wildlife was when uh I was oh. This uh, dude, I, I can't remember exactly what his name was, but he let me go on a hunting expedition to hunt the last Tasmanian devil. That was uh, awesome. Oh, sorry, Tasmanian tiger. <laughs> that sorry. was sick. Yeah, dude. You took that shit out. Dude. You have uh, the rug in your house. It was surreal. It was surreal watching it die. Dude, just the last like, one. It's just, you did. You would not expect such a creature to have such a such a beautiful death. Have you ever posted such a, a video? Yeah. Have you ever posted a video of you just like, because I remember you took a video and you were just like pointing and When I was dancing with it? Yeah, and you were the like, like corpse. The, the corpse, like. You I made it dance to Gong. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. uh, good times. Full circle. Awesome, man. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I mean, I guess, guys, that's that's probably where we should put a bookmark in it here. Uh, okay. If you guys want to check out a nothing bookmark? Jason but Justin. Um, Jason but what Justin. Is, <laughs> what's, your, what's your channel, Justin? He's trying to get to 100,000 subs, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get him there. I would like to get to 100,000 subscribers. Let's do it. All he wants. What are you at right now? 64, 65,000. Let's get Justin to 100,000 subscribers. So go in the please, description of this video, or please. if you're listening on uh, Spotify or Apple Podcasts, where should they go, Justin, to see YouTube.com slash nothing but lag. Not nothing but lag. Not slash user slash? Is it really just I could do that. Okay, yeah. okay. That's yeah. what I always do for okay. all, all the No G. No G. Well, nothing G but the lag. End. It's nothing but lag. Not nothing. Nothing, yeah, nothing but lag. Yeah. Because I've made that mistake That's before. what it is on everything. So... Yeah. yeah. So yeah. go follow his Twitter. You almost had a hundred thousand followers on Twitter. You're a funny boy. Thank you don't. You, you don't. You don't tweet enough. Yeah, neither I, do you guys. Ryan, I called you. <laughs> neither guy. do you guys. Guy, come on. <laughs> no, you guys both need to tweet more because got, I, I, don't I gotta, be, don't don't think about the tweets so much. Just throw them out there. I, 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 I got sad at the beginning out. of the year and I was like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Oh, okay, well, that's boring conversation. Yeah, that's, Bye, yeah, everybody. <laughs> come on, dude. <laughs> go check out Justin and give him a sub. I, I would appreciate it. Yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty fucking sick. Nice. And thank you for being an epic editor. Yeah, uh, man, guys, Justin, in case you didn't know by now, he's the guy that edits all the Let's Plays, our mail videos, shit like that. He adds the yum yum sauce to the already delicious hibachi meal Matt and I provide. I mean, yeah. it's already really good well, without it. I, I, I Hibachi's say, nothing without that yum yum sauce. I, I would say it's more like putting the sauce on like a like an old McDonald's hamburger. But the yum yum sauce on an old McDonald's hamburger. Well, at yeah. the end of the day, it's still one big shit sandwich, Justin. So if you want to call it that, go ahead. Yeah. I think it's nice hibachi. I love hibachi. Hibachi. What is good, hibachi? Wait, 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 wait. What is hibachi? There's a food truck. It's like it's a. Uh, it's it just it just means get a load of this grilled. guy that isn't from Los it's Angeles. From, Doesn't know what hibachi. No, is. Hibachi? everyone everyone knows what hibachi is. It's not a Los Angeles thing. Apparently not everyone because I fact, don't fucking know what it Los is. Los Angeles doesn't really have that many hibachi. I've never places. been to hibachi in Los Angeles. What is even? it? It's a you know the place where they go oh and they like cook in front of you go ching 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 ching. Is boom, that boom. where? The, no, that's it's, the sound of the utensils. No, I know, Matt. I know. It's Japanese food that they they cook it like they have the okay, they cook I it for you on the table. Is. I just didn't know what it was they called. They flip the shrimp they in your mouth. Shrimp, you don't know Japanese the flat spatulas. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, as opposed to the curved ones. Yeah, the squiggly ones. <laughs> and, then, and then they also have the, I mean, like the big. Flat no, I know spatulas. what you mean. I'm just fucking around. Before Justin leaves, can we go get hibachi? Can we go to Benihana or something? Apparently, there's a really good food truck that's a real- I, want, like a, I don't want a like, food truck. I want to go sit at hibachi. But, but think about, like, hibachi from a food truck. We, we could do that any other time. I want to sit Justin down at hibachi and take him. I'll do it. Okay. I mean, let's let's see what- Okay. Get him a Shirley Temple. I'm down. What's Some a Shirley Temple? We'll, we'll find, What's a Shirley Temple? Yeah. I'm going to look up hibachi places. What hibachi places are in LA? Sprite with grenadine. That's, what, is, what is grenadine? What, what next? You're going to ask me what is- what, what is, is water? Uh, <laughs> grenadine is like a pomegranate syrup that makes drinks red. 
Uh, so it's a, a Shirley Temple is just Sprite where they put a little a little maraschino cherry and some of the syrup in it, and then a Smurf is when they put the blue syrup in it that tastes good, and then a Barney is where they mix the two. Already found a place. Hibachi. Yep, I know exactly where I want to go. All right, delicious. Why don't we book a table? It's it's uh, or we could take him to Shibumi, the best Japanese restaurant in L.A. Which is reservation only, but it is incredible. It's where I ate the marijuana leaf that was tempered. But, uh, it's not hibachi, dude. <sighs> hibachi this, hibachi that. Hibachi these nuts. Bye. <laughs> really? <laughs> Should I end this one with the fart sound or the music?